In this clip, we're going to look at some ways of dealing with cloning issues, both using the clone stamp tool and some other issues as well. So let's zoom in on the area that is causing us grief, which is this big pole with the video camera in the back and so on. We want to basically remove that. So we could use the clone stamp tool. And one of my first suggestions, if you're going to use the clone stamp tool, is have your finger poised above the undo command. Because if you're like most people, you'll end up spending half your time undoing because you get results you didn't quite have in mind. I can suggest to you that there are some interesting other alternatives to using the clone stamp tool that we should at least try first. Look in the background here. There's a line that, that ideally should go right down here. And then beside that, there's other parts of the background that are kind of similar. So I'm going to take my rectangular marquee selection tool. I'm going to try to select a fairly large chunk of the area that I want to use to replace this part down here. I'm going to either right or control click to bring up the feather command and feather it probably four or five just to help kind of blend it in. Now this is where using keyboard shortcuts can help because you're going to switch back and forth between a selection tool and the move tool. So you press V for move. Then if you hold down the Option or Alt key and start to drag, you'll see you're dragging a copy. And what I can do is basically drag this down using that line as kind of my frame of reference. I can press Command or Control H to be able to nudge it. Now you can see if this shows up well on the screen. It's a little too dark, but remember it's still selected, so I could choose Levels and just lighten it up just a hair and all of a sudden it blends right in. So I use basically that line as a reference and now I'm able to cover that up and now I can deselect. Okay. Uh, actually, I, let's undo that because I didn't want to really deselect because I want to use the same chunk again. Drag it down a little further. Nudge it where necessary. I could also use transform if need be to try to make the line, for example, if it was a little bit off, I could transform it just a bit to try and make it look better. And again, use levels and just lower it down, not too much, but just enough so it kind of helps blend in. Now, also keep in mind, I'm zoomed way in here so that if you're really doing this kind of work, uh, you might want to periodically zoom back out again to see how it looks at the size it's really going to print, not at the humongous size that you've zoomed into. Okay. At a certain point, we're going to have to start using the clone stamp tool. And one of the things that can really help, let's continue to zoom in a little bit more. I mean, this is going to be hard to, with quality, but I want you to see the basic idea. Let's zoom out a little bit, maybe. Uh, would be to make a selection, because obviously I don't want his hand to be affected. So I'm just going to select the area that I don't want to be cloned over, which is the edge of his fingers here. By doing that, now when I use the clone stamp tool, S for clone stamp, I should be okay now. Let's make our clone stamp a little bit bigger by pressing the right bracket key. Option or I'll click once to choose my reference point. And now when I clone down, I can come right down and not worry about getting on top of his fingers because I have that area selected. Same idea over here. Option or Alt click to make a reference point and then start cloning in. And this way, as you're doing your clone, you can get right up nice and close. I went a little too far in that case. Basically like this. And that way you don't have to worry about cloning over things that you don't want to clone over. Something like that. And then you can deselect and continue. Now obviously I'm not going to have time in this clip to do the whole thing. But that basically those two ideas of using a selected area, option or alt dragging, and then lowering the levels if you need to, making a selection to help with your clone stamp tool can really help if you're trying to blend something in so it looks more natural. So you end up with something that looks good and gives you the effect you want. So there you go. A couple little tips about cloning. Go for it. Now some of you with really good eagle eyes might have spotted me in this picture. Yes, that is me in my barbershop chorus in a recent competition. And I'm pleading with you to say, please tell me you like this clip. Please, really, please.